one of the things that I've struggled with the most in my business is the financial part. Growing up, I had a good theoretical understanding of money, but I didn't have any practical experience with it. And so by the time I eventually started working, the relationship that I developed with money was one that came from a place of scarcity. And so that led to some bad habits um, and habits that went into, um, you know, leaving my full time job um, and taking my side hustle and making that my full time thing. Um, what I had was survival mode compounded with uh, just bad money habits. And so it felt like I was in quicksand for a really long time where I just couldn't get out. Um, and it felt like uh, trying to develop good habits was not going to get me out any quicker than just trying to get out. Um, anyway, eventually, um, my business started to grow and I got some interest in it from someone who wanted to acquire it. Um, and at that point I had to, you know, show them my finances. And, uh, I remember just feeling like crap, like I don't have anything. I haven't been keeping my books. Now I have to go back and figure this stuff all out. Um, but even from that experience, it still took me a couple of years to realize, okay, I need to make sure that this is something that I'm doing. And so by the time I got to that point, um, I was able to, or I started using bench, bookkeeping services. And I thought that, okay, now the problem is going to be solved because it's going to be done for me and I won't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, and so what I realized was that it wasn't that simple. Um, my actual issue was an issue of avoidance and not, uh, you know, paying attention to something and, uh, or a fear around it. And so even though I was paying for this bookkeeping service, I still needed to go in there every month and to categorize certain things um, and, you know, just manage it. Um, and because I wasn't managing it, it just didn't make sense to keep it up. Now, I still needed to do my books. And so I realized after resolving a lot of those emotional issues um, that had plagued me for many years, I'm like, OK, it's time to uh, do it myself. And so I'm using QuickBooks online and I'm going through the process of just really learning how to do it all myself um, because I know that one, uh, that's going to just take my business to the next level. Just having that awareness, um, the decisions that I make won't be coming from uh, an imagined place of what I think is going on or how I feel, but from what's actually going on. So um if you're thinking about these two tools and you can relate to my own experience, um, my advice would be to um, learn to do it yourself before paying to get it done for you, because um, it's going to force you to actually resolve whatever issues that are getting in the way of why you're not paying attention to your finances in the first place. Um, because once you start paying attention to it, you're going to enjoy it more. Um, it's going to give you more peace of mind. And then I think at least this is what I plan on doing. Um, and then at some point, you know, you can automate it to where it's done for you or you can pay to have it done for you um, because you're comfortable with your relationship with it, um, what it takes to do, etc. So hopefully you found this useful. It's a little detour from my usual random content, but um, that's just what it is. Peace.